Hey guys, so today we're gonna play some Arsenal. I'm gonna discuss some stuff about Arsenal, but as you can see, the game is at 3,956 players. This is, I think, the lowest player count that Arsenal's had since around maybe even mid-2019. If we actually go to Arsenal, as you can see, even lately when it's been dying, it hasn't hit even close to 3.9k. If we go back in Arsenal's history and go as far back as possible to November 2019, even then, 15, 20,000. So yeah, Arsenal is officially, officially dying. I, I guess if they don't put out a good update soon and give content creators things to make videos on I really don't see a way for Arsenal to I don't see a way for it to stabilize and sometimes when I try to play Arsenal I have exploiters who follow me to every server I mean, look at this. This is one server I've just joined and is now completely unplayable. If I had um, kick permissions, I would be able to fix this server. I think it's actually two exploits. Yeah, it's two exploits. There's two exploits in the same server. Amazing. And they're both bacon hairs too. So there's no there's no point even reporting them because they're both bacon hairs. Then um, game's over. Yep. This is what Arsenal has come to, and obviously every single person in this server is not going to want to play Arsenal anymore. So imagine a new player joins a server like this. They're going to join, get killed by two cheaters, and then immediately want to leave. Another thing, there's one legacy competitive game, and it is on Lodgeworks, one of the worst maps in the game. I don't know why my Steam just all of a sudden pops up. Right. Oh, and the oh, server oh. is not actually competitive. It was just, in it, it ended ages ago. Also, I believe Blockstrap is broken, and that's why I'm getting these texture issues. As you can see, all the textures and the images are broken. I'm just honestly waiting for Rivals to come out with their Arsenal game mode. If you don't know, I, I think they're apparently coming out with a game mode similar to what Arsenal has. You know, gun game. And yeah, if it's good, I'm going to be playing that a lot. <laughs> Poor dude, bro. What's the oh my bro, come on. Come on, bro. I wish Arsenal had some type of like footstep noises. So that stuff like that didn't happen. Yeah, also, I have not played Arsenal at all lately, so my aim is just... My aim is crap. My aim is crap lately because is there any point in even playing Arsenal? Come on, get that guy at the top. Yeah. When you get a kill, guys, I 100% believe when you get a kill, your ammo should be reset to the max. And you should get a health boost as well. Sorry, what? Bro, I don't know how I didn't get that. Come on, bro. Yeah, you know what? I might start daily uploading Arsenal game. Just trying to do any type of content, bro. Literally any type of content. Normal gameplay videos, special videos, whatever, you know. I just... <laughs> I just... I'm just fed up with this. I'm fed up with this game. I'm I'm so fed up with it. Imagine if I had Orange Team, bro. This game would be so fun if I had Orange Team. The videos on this game too would be like five times better. Five times better. I would never have to deal with exploiters ever again. Everyone who's in my server ever would never have to deal with exploiters in my servers. And that could put good game modes on. Like when we go into intermission, good game modes. We could actually play four teams and FFA sometimes. Okay, will comp win? No. Of course, it's not going to win. <laughs> Everyone votes two teams as well. To the point where it's not worth voting anything other than two teams. Because it's never... You're never going to get FFA. <laughs> There's literally no way of getting FFA anymore. Unless you've got Orange Team or you're streaming. Everyone's in your stream. My aim is pretty damn bad right now. But I've got no reason to want to grind and get good again. Because... What's the point in being good at Arsenal right now? There is no point, right? So close to dying there. So close to dying. That's why this game needs to try out Siphon. Come on, just give us like Siphon for like a week and then remove Siphon. And if people say it was better, uh, add it back again. That'd be such a, a fun thing. Imagine that Arsenal did stuff like adding a mechanic for a week and then seeing if the community liked it. And if the community likes it, just keeping it in the game. Also, it would be nice if in um, VIP servers, you could 
have more than 16 players. That'd be so... Imagine having like 50 player Arsenal servers. That would be so fun. Especially because when I do VIP streams, I usually have around 100 people watching. So there's just not enough spots in a server for people to, to join. And it's kind of boring if you can't join. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna throw a few ideas out because yeah, Arsenal Rolf really needs ideas. You know what though, Exone seems like he actually cares about this game right now. Um I know we've the Arsenal community has always felt Exone just didn't didn't care about Arsenal, but he seems like he's finally realized how much of a dire situation Arsenal is in. And like, he actually wants to revive it. Now, I don't know about the other devs. Um, they don't seem to be caring as much as Ixone. Because just remember how much effort Rolf put into this game all those years ago. They created the greatest FPS game on Roblox in Roblox history. The biggest peak in, Ro in FPS game history on Roblox. You had people like Tanker getting 15 million views on this game, dude. And now, now you're lucky to get even like 20k. Boom, let's go. I mean, I just came out with a 24-hour Arsenal video with like a 7-minute average view duration. And it just completely flopped, dude. It's at like 6k. I expected at least like 10, 15. Yeah, the game's going down the hill. But yeah, whatever, whatever. Yeah, so I'm just gonna... I think I'm gonna pump videos out every day. Uh, if I can't get a video out, I'll str... Oh my god, that scared me. If I can't get a video out, I'll stream. Uh, varying degrees of um, effort put into the videos. Some videos will have a ton of effort in. Some videos will be more chilled out like this. Where I'm just playing Arsenal and talking. Yeah, stuff like automatics really need siphon as well. W spawn. <laughs> w spawn, bro. So some weapons need to be sped up. I get it, they're heavy weapons, right? But Arsenal's meant to be a fast-paced arcade shooter. We don't need realism with certain guns being really slow. Yeah, it made them a little bit slower, but like... They're way too slow, some guns in this game. I get... I get why they're slow, but I just think it'll be better. Oh, I did see though, Exoni um, put up a blog post. He's working on more accurate representation of uh, character locations. But that seems like a really, really, really good thing to uh, improve Arsenal. I'm very happy with what Exoni is doing lately. I know some people said people over a certain level should get a vote kick menu. That's a really bad idea though, in my opinion, because I've met so many high levels that would abuse the hell out of that, bro. Come on. <laughs> that was so scuffed. That was so scuffed. Oh my God. Oh God. But yeah, uh, thank you for watching, I guess. This game just isn't really interesting anymore. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what they're going to do for the games event. Not the game, sorry. The new hunt event. I believe it's going to be a Halloween themed one. There's no way Arsenal's not going to be in it, right? They've got to be in it. They've been in every single one. I'm looking forward to what they're going to do. But yeah, just like that. Uh, see you guys. Thanks for watching this video. And my next video should be a lot more interesting than this, I hope. There we go. GG. Plus subscribe.